What's going on, horror fanatics? Interesting discussion today. So, we all know about the Terrifier franchise and what Damien has been able to accomplish in a short amount of time. Damien has literally started from the ground up creating his own IP. And like Terrifier or not, you can't deny how popular the franchise has become. Unfortunately, some fan film YouTubers don't feel the same way. Vincent DeSanti, the creator of some of the Friday the 13th fan films, has been, I guess you can say, passive aggressive towards the Terrifier franchise. Just looking through some of his posts on social media, he comes off as bitter and jealous of the success Terrifier has had. And Terrifier was filmed with a $35,000 budget. And according to reports, it grossed over $400,000 in the box office. And to follow that up, Terrifier 2 swept the horror world by storm with a budget of $250,000 and grossing over $15 million in the box office, which brought more eyes to the franchise and specifically the mainstream. Hot Topic, Spencer's, Spirit Halloween, and everywhere else you can think of has merchandise of Art the Clown. From t-shirts, hats, cereal, blu-rays, and much more. Even Fortnite. <laughs> you know, um, like the movie or not, like I mentioned, how can anyone hate the rise and the grind of an independent filmmaker breaking barriers and creating an original idea? And yes, it's original. It's not Friday the 13th. It's not Halloween. He literally created a new character in the horror genre. Stephen King has even mentioned Terrifier. I don't know, man. From my perspective, it just seems like Vincent DeSanti seems to be one of those individuals leading the charge, trying to throw subliminals and dissing any and everything about Terrifier. And if you don't know Vincent DeSanti, like I mentioned, he's a part-time fan filmmaker on YouTube. He comes off as one of those quote-unquote gatekeepers for horror fan films on YouTube. The Never Hike Alone fan film gave him his YouTube success. And it seems like everyone who threatens his position Position, he sees as a threat someone like a Damien and listen from my perspective from the social media post by Vincent DeSanti you can clearly sense there is jealousy he seems to always give these backhanded compliments here's one for example so a while ago on Twitter a article resurfaced about Friday the 13th and a possible remake and everyone is saying like Damien should do a remake for Friday the 13th. But anyway, our article was posted about how Damien wants to make a bloodier and scarier version of the entire franchise. And guess who commented? Womp Stomp Films, which is Vincent DeSanti. And he said, please, no, period. And he also was replying to other people who support Terrifier. And here's one of the quotes. I don't even have to travel outside the Terrifier fan base to tell you that people don't think that the films have much going on other than their gore. I prefer a story driven director who can hire a good FX artist over a FX driven director who struggles outside of those lines. So clearly that's a backhanded compliment, which I don't even think that's a compliment. But anyway, here's the one that really sparked me to make this video because Apparently on Twitter and all over social media, Terrifier is advertising because everyone knows by now that Terrifier 3 is coming out in October. So with that being said, of course it's going to be all over social media and um, advertising or whatever because they're an independent film. I mean, they're not going to be on every commercial. I'm not even sure if it has a commercial on national TV or whatever like that. So you don't have the money to do that so i mean use social media you know promote your um movie but anyway apparently womp stump films you know has said i'm blocking this bs he's talking about terrifier he's tired of seeing all this you know advertisement or whatever and he replied to somebody and he said the marketing is just at a point of extreme overkill too much noise for something with such little value you see, <laughs> it's backhanded stuff like that, you know, that's just, I don't know, it's not professional, and it just seems like hating. I, I, you know, I could be wrong, but, you know, that's how it's coming off. Leave a like down below if you agree with that. But anyway, on one of the Terrifier Facebook groups, Damien Leon went in and tried to explain himself because he got a lot of backlash for that post. Anyway, um, basically, he was saying that, um Damien and them you know turned on him because he didn't show up to the premiere screening of Terrifier 2 
and that's where the tension began at. So um, I guess, you know, it's tension there between those two. But I don't think so because Damien, I don't think he really acknowledges <laughs> Vincent DeSanti and he doesn't really care. But, you know, I, I, I do find it funny that um, I, I wish this would happen. I wish Damien would direct um, a Friday the 13th film because <laughs> I can only imagine, you know, um, what what kind of post would be made about that. But, um, yeah, man, what do you all think about this? I mean, there's no reason for this type of energy, especially someone paving the way for you. Look, Terrifier was created by Damien with the original idea, original story, original characters, and even a new age horror icon. And I just don't get it. How can Vincent DeSanti downplay something so original when he's done nothing but use the horror IP such as Friday the 13th to try to sell itself to the Hollywood industry? And I don't think it's going to work. And one more statement, and I'm going to leave it at this. Going back to him saying that, you know, it's too much advertising and I'm going to block this or whatever. Listen, I didn't hear a peep out of him when Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends, Halloween 2018 were advertising and it was just plastered everywhere. And, you know, it was just out of control. And Terrifier is nowhere near that type of hype. So I just don't understand why he was silent on that. But all of a sudden he want to come out with the independent, you know, try to start beef with the independent filmmaker who has social media as his only, I guess, way of promoting things. So I, I don't know, man. It just seemed like some hater stuff going on there, in my opinion. But anyway, y'all let me know down in the comment section. How do you all feel about this situation? How do you all feel about these fan filmmakers taking shots at the independent filmmakers trying to make a way for them? And also, if you love any and everything paranormal or horror movie related, then make sure you check out my channel. If you like my videos, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every time I upload. As always, be safe. Peace.